Good day guys, nice to have you here. Today we'll cover another Hilda gameplay and discuss some of the good and bad decisions made in this game. In addition to that, we'll also cover the hero build and a bunch of other tips guaranteed to help you win more games. So if you like more hero guys like this, be sure to leave a like, share, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Before we continue, I want to give my shoutouts to Overage Cyborg. Happy birthday to you in advance and thank you for always staying tuned. You're awesome. If you're playing either one of the side laners, the moment the game starts, it's important that you head towards the bush. Try not to be seen by the enemy. In freezing, the element of surprise and pressure is important. Since we all know Balmond is a damage type hero with a bit of tankiness, I decided to invest more on damage earlier. My goal here was to out damage him and sure enough it worked, especially since I had high and dry and focus all of my emblem stats in physical damage and physical penetration. See? That's why your starting build is important. Balmon chose Festival of Blood which is good but the issue with it is it has lower power spike on the early game compared to high and dry which is one of the most effective ways of out damaging your enemy especially during the laning phase. Let's try to do it again. Basically what we're doing here is we are not going to clear minions quickly but will instead keep the pressure and drive them away from our minions once they're about to die. Doing so will deny Balmon of experience and gold. Let's not let him farm anything. Always hover your camera around the map especially when your enemy is missing so that you can hear if they are taking any jungle creps. Forefathers, I need my answer. I Launch have to be attack. strong enough to shelter my people. A warrior's strength. Akai disappeared from the mid lane. This gave me the impression that he was about to head to the turtle, so I went ahead and cleared the minions faster to help out in contesting it. Request backup! I field warriors! Don't bring As you saw even in the early game, the damage Hilda deals is tremendous even against tankier heroes. Request backup. Initiate retreat. Request backup. A true warrior would give life to the thing she wants to protect. Request backup. That guys is why freezing is important. It's been only 3 minutes but the gap between us is already tremendous. Don't clear minions mindlessly, especially in the first 5 minutes of the game. Your focus will be to last hit minions as much as you can and deny the enemy of experience and gold by driving him or her away from your dying minions. I will not dishonor the name you gave me. Ha! My axe begs to differ. Again, only take kills when it's convenient. As an XP laner, your main priority is lane management and that should be your specialty. Clashing with enemies is your teammate's job. Your job is to maintain minion waves, defend, and help in taking objectives and securing the perimeter. Your team destroyed the turret! Monster kill! 
let's start discussing some of the equipment as we go through the video. I got Malefic Roar early since I consider this as Hilda's core item. It's also very affordable and greatly improves her early game power spike. Her ultimate at max stacks ignores a portion of the enemy's physical defense and with Malefic Roar's help, a much larger portion of the enemy's defense will be pierced further, thus amplifying her damage greatly. Later on you'll see how broken that damage is. I got tough boots mainly for minimizing the effects of control skills, then Blade of Despair to further improve or increase her damage output, especially her ultimate. I got Antikaras especially for Akai and Balmain. Both of them are skill-reliant heroes, therefore gaining max stacks for this item, which will increase its bonus physical defense, will be very easy. Good kill, but not really worth celebrating since the enemies were able to take the Lord. Brute Force Breastplate is a decent item if you want to have a little bit of magic defense with your bonus physical defense. This works well on Hilda since it also provides temporary boost in movement speed after enough stacks have been gained by casting skills. And finally, Immortality, which might just come in handy to avoid some deaths later on in the game. Comes from everything she loves. Clear up lanes. You need my answer. As you saw in that sequence, Hilda's damage is still powerful whether she's up against a squishy hero or a tank. Just remember to always max out her stacks before using her ultimate. Doing so will unlock its latent abilities. Besides having a huge base damage, her ultimate as I said earlier is capable of penetrating a portion of your target's defense. In addition to that, it scales according to the main target's max HP. The higher their max HP is, the greater the damage will be. Since Chang'e wasn't with us, it would have been a better idea to instead clear the minions and put more pressure on the lanes since the Lord is about to spawn, therefore allowing us to take it with less enemies contesting us. Sadly, all four of us had our fight response activated. Forging ahead. I'll carry my face to the grave. You have slain an enemy. Warrior would 
give life to the things you want to protect. The Lord. Attack the Lord! Ha! <laughs> My ass begs to differ. Attack the Lord! <laughs> Forging ahead is the only Attack. way to make the Let's have a quick quiz. What do you think will Franco do to save Hilda in this situation and turn this around? Will he A. Hook Akai away from Hilda? B. He will flicker in and use his ultimate against Akai. Or C. He will imitate Akai and spin like a Beyblade. What do you think is the right answer? The answer is none. Because Franco did absolutely nothing. Good thing Mosca was able to take the Lord. Where to next? Launch attack! I'll carry my faith to the grave. Forefathers, I need my answer. That concludes yet again another Mobile Legends video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed creating it. And if you haven't yet, be sure to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay safe everyone. Peace.